Hi friends, so last week we talked about question marks and we talked about periods. And just to remind you, I said that we use question marks when we are asking a question. So any asking sentences have a question mark at the end. If we're telling something, then it's going to have a period at the end. Okay. Today, we're going to talk about something you've probably heard before because we've used it before. And you might even know why we use it because I've said it before. We're going to talk about exclamation points. And you're probably remembering using this. A lot of times we use it when we're making gifts for our parents. And a lot of times we'll say Merry Christmas or Happy Easter. And I'll say, if you want to sound excited, you're going to put an exclamation point. Okay? So you probably used that before and you might even know how to draw one. But I'm going to review it with you. So I'm going to show you how to draw an exclamation point. All right, for an exclamation point, you're going to start at the top line. And you're going to make a straight line going down, but you're not going to reach the bottom. And then you're going to put a little dot on the bottom line. So if you look at it, an exclamation point kind of looks like an upside down eye. Okay, so before we move on, I think we should check with Mrs. Schaefer to see how we should sound when we use an exclamation point. I would say that sentence really loud and with excitement. Wow, Mrs. Schaefer, that was perfect. Do you think you could give us an example of a sentence that has an exclamation point at the end? Mr. Joseph. Kindergarten B is the most awesome sauce class at St. Margaret's. Well, first, I definitely agree with that sentence. And second, I think you sounded super excited, which means you definitely had an exclamation point at the end of that sentence. Okay, so I'm just going to check with one more person to see how you should sound when there is an exclamation point at the end of a sentence. I'm going to call my sister to see if she knows about exclamation points. Exclamation points? <gasps> Do you know why? Let me see. To show that we're excited. Can you give me an example of a sentence with an exclamation point? We are so happy to see you. Now I have another example for you of a sentence. This sentence says, watch out. Now, if you're asking someone to watch out, it's usually because something might be behind them or something is going to hit them, maybe like a ball. So you might be asking someone to watch out and you're usually shouting it. So at the end of watch out, you would probably put an exclamation point instead of a period. I'm going to show you another sentence. This one says, you did a great job. So if someone is really proud of your work and is saying this to you, they're probably really excited. So this is another sentence that you would probably see an exclamation point instead of a period because they're really excited when they're saying this to you. Okay, so now that you know all about exclamation points, I'd like you to kind of like what you did last week with question marks and periods. I'd like you to take out your blue copy book and find a clean page. And on the top line, I want you to practice first writing some exclamation points. So just practice a couple like I did here. And then underneath that, I'd like you to come up with your own sentence that you think needs an exclamation point at the end. So remember that means you sound excited when you say it or it means you're shouting it at someone. So I want you to come up with any sentence you want and you can write that in your blue copy book. If you'd like to add a picture to it, you can do that too. 